Okay, now we're going to practice with the Select and Mask Task Space, an amazing new feature in the latest Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015.5. I want you to go into Bridge and grab three images that we're going to load as layers into Photoshop. You're going to come into number four. Now, I might have emailed you these, so they might not yet be in your folder. Actually, select Todd ready with binoculars first. Select that one first. Then holding down command, grab campus and moose eye roll. Go up to tools, Photoshop, load files into Photoshop layer so we load them all into one document. It's going to take a few seconds to do that. Okay, so it's conforming to the size of Todd. What's the biggest photo? The moose is rather small, and then the campus shot is kind of medium. We actually want to put the campus shot in the bottom now that they're loaded in there. We want to come to letter V for move, the move tool. We want to move Todd to the side. We're going to click on the layer of the moose. And we're going to do Command T to access free transform. Holding down Shift, we're going to make that moose a lot bigger. It's okay, we're losing resolution, but that's all right because this is just for practice. Okay, I'm going to click him, put him to the side. Command Zero to put it completely into the screen to fit to screen. I like that. I'm going to press enter. But I am going to put the moose now as the middle layer so we see Todd here. Okay, so this is the tutorial you've been waiting for. We're going to remove Todd from this background and put him on the campus background with the moose. Also removing the moose from its background. I'm going to make sure that we're selecting the layer that we're going to be uh, using first. That's the Todd layer. You can select Todd okay, using the quick select tool right here. This is how it's traditionally done. All right, we just grab him, get his arm there, his face, the hat. We're also getting some of the background. That's okay. We're going to be able to remove that. That's how it's traditionally done. I'm going to Command Z. We could even be in some other tool though, and we can grab him by going into Select and Mask. Okay. Make sure it's scrolled to the top. Okay, we just used this in the last tutorial, and you can select and mask him. Here's also the select tool. Okay, and you can grab him here. Let's be very conservative grabbing him. Okay, so you see that the uh, the red area because I'm I have overlay selected. is the area we don't want. Okay, we're trying to be very conservative. I'm going to make my brush smaller by left bracketing, clicking left bracket on my keyboard. I might even make it a little smaller. Just want to grab the arm. Oops, grab the outside. That's okay. I'll come back to that. Okay. Now I'm going to use the paint, which is the third one down. If you hold down Option, you remove these areas from your mask. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit on the inside of Todd's arm here, because then we're going to use the excellent tool, the Refine Edge tool. Make my brush bigger with the right bracket. It's a little too big. And we'll get rid of that here in a second. Now this is the key tool in this particular panel. Notice we're in a whole new interface right now. Refine Edge Brush. Amazing tool. Okay, I'm going to go along the edge here. And I'm asking it to, to figure out what I want it to do. In this case, I want it to relocate the edge. 
anywhere where you're seeing red you want it to do that if you need to command plus plus to move in tighter on Todd I don't think that red's supposed to be there because that shirt should not have any red in it pretty cool huh he's having trouble with his watch probably because of the glass element there and his hands And you can overlap with that edge, telling it you want it to rethink that edge. Putting down space bar, I'm coming down here. Okay, so anywhere we're seeing red, we know that there's transparency there. So you may want to grab your brush tool, and the parts you know are solid, go over them. Like Todd's arm there. Okay, I'm seeing quite a bit of the background now, so I'm going to click Option. I really need to make the brush smaller. Okay, but then you might want to grab this tool back and see if it can recalculate that edge there. And unfortunately, oh, it didn't grab that. You might want to grab this tool here, the Refine Edge Brush, and see if it can recalculate that. Hmm, it's having some trouble because the skin tone is somewhat similar. You may want to change the size of the brush. Yeah, it's having some trouble. So you may want to go back to the brush. I'm adding his hand back there. This is harder than I thought, this particular image. Okay, so that's not bad. Did a really good job on the hat, except for right there maybe. Okay. Okay, so you're going to come down here. There's lots of different options here. Okay, you can shift the edge so it will go on the inside of the subject a little bit, which is nice. You can feather it. There's not a if there's a not a hard edge. You just want to feather it. You can do that. Okay. Here, this part's really important. When you go to output settings by twirling down the triangle may already be twirled down you're going to see this checkbox decontaminate colors okay you want to just practice to see does that look any better and here you see his watch getting a little bit lighter um, when it's checked versus when it's not checked what that does is it tries to match the semi-transparent layers a little bit to the new background you're putting the subject on. So if there's any color casts on the image or reflective surfaces where the subject is reflecting a little bit of color from its original background, this will decontaminate that and then try to add the color cast from the background that should already be underneath, hopefully, in your layer panel on the uh, original interface. So that's what that does. I don't think that does anything here in this particular layer, but I might use it in the next thing, in the next layer. Okay, these might all be collapsed when you come into them. This is nice because it will allow uh, Photoshop to look for an edge It'll give it more of a permission, basically, to look for the edge, a hard edge, and that is very useful. Okay, notice it's trying to do that, like in this area, when I have that checked. Okay, and it's doing a little bit better when that's checked, but it's a minimum of 10 pixels, the smart radius. Okay, and then there's lots of options here. 
Alright, so I'm going to make a new layer with layer mask. Click OK. OK. Alright, so now we have Todd, and notice here there's the whole layer there. And then this, is, this one is the one with the mask. Alright, so there's Todd. He's trying to get away from this moose. He's a little suspicious of the moose. Command 0 to fill it on the screen. Okay, I really want the campus to be uh, more represented there. Right, and I may need to move that to make it bigger. Right, so I'm going to do Command T for Transform Tools, hold down Shift. Alright, and then we have the campus there. Oops. Did not hold down Shift. Make sure you hold down Shift. I like that. I'm going to press Enter. Alright, now I'm going to work on the moose. Remember Taz right there. I'm going to actually bring the moose to the front now. Okay, and so I'm going to do the same thing with the moose. You need to make sure that you have the layer selected that you want to actually select from. Alright, then you want to create a selection from. Alright, now it's selected, and you see the moose appears there in the thumbnail. I can grab the quick select tool and grab that moose. Okay, there's that moose there. I think I'm also going to actually grab some of the grass around him. Alright. I like that. Let's see if I can grab his derriere there. Alright, and then I'm going to go in, I'm going to Command plus plus, hold down the space button, space bar. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the refine edge and try to get his ears better represented there. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Just out of curiosity, if I go along here, what will it do? Let's see if it refines that edge to include leaves to make it look a little more natural, this line. And it does. It's doing a pretty good job with that. I like that. See if it includes more of the rump of the moose there, and it did, does. The ears there should be solid. And come down to the paint for one. The paint button. There's this really uh, high contrast there. All right, I want to do the same thing down here. See if this looks any better by decontaminating the colors. Which I think it does in this case. And then I'm going to click that. Okay, so I don't like that, but I still have it selected. I could use my brush tool to get rid of a little bit of that. Okay. I can also put that behind Todd, right? Hmm. Let's try it behind Todd. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, because the moose is behind Todd. Alright. What do you think of that? You can make the moose a little closer to Todd. Unfortunately, we're seeing some of the image because we did not unselect that, but I could quickly remove that. But it looks like I am not because I don't have it selected. Remember the, the layer mask has to be targeted. Okay, and I can remove that to get that building back by just painting with black here. Alright. Not bad. So we have the, we removed some of the moose there. 
and we also removed Todd's background there and we have Todd, the moose, and the campus there.